Microsoft tag and QR code. Both have a lot of great um, advantages and disadvantages about them. With QR code, you can print this on any black and white um, advertising that you want out there. If you have newspaper or if you have black and white uh, printed flyers, you know, if you if you put this on flyers, don't use like extreme red paper um, because the tag readers will probably have a problem with it. But if you put it on like you know pastel paper, like um, yellows, uh, you know. Uh, uh, light blue, you know, if you have all kind, if you have this very light colors, then the QR code readers will be able to pick it up. Microsoft Tag requires color, however, they do have black and white versions of this. In fact, just recently, if you look at your Domino's piece of mailers that comes in your mailbox, in the upper right hand corner, it has a Microsoft Tag, and I have a picture of this on my Flickr page, and, um, it, and it's in black and white. So that's a good thing. You can still print black and white Microsoft tags whenever you're doing um, newspaper ads, uh, phone books, um, even you know how you have your front of your business card in color but the back of it is in black and white to save a little bit of money. Well if you put the uh, MS tag on the back of your business card that's what you want it black and white. Now as you see here I wanted to do some uh, comparisons on uh, compare comparisons on different sizes of the tag. Now I tried to do this before I did this video and all three of these worked on the size 100. Now Microsoft Tag um, says that you can scan this even if this image is the size of a penny. That's pretty amazing. So you can have like a like a penny size um, um, tag and it will still read it very clearly. Unlike this, I noticed that the smaller it gets, the it's not able to pick up as easy. Now, this is a custom tag. These are a little bit harder to read, so I don't recommend using custom tags as much. In fact, I don't recommend it at all for any major advertising because they're harder to capture. Um, you have to make it really big in order to uh, capture this image. In fact, I think this size right here is probably the best size, the biggest, the smallest, I mean, you want to go as far as um, making a tag. Now, we're going to test it with the 100. It's not the smallest you can do Microsoft Tag, but it's, um, I think it's good enough where if you have this on a side of your um, business or you have this uh, print on a small uh, advertising, you know, you got like maybe a quarter page ad or eighth of, it, eighth of a page of an ad, you can put this on your, um, on your ad. And if you want to do both, you can put both codes on there. The only thing is, with Microsoft Tag, okay, I don't want to capture those other tags, so excuse me for going up. I should have put it on separate pieces of paper. Ah, there it goes. It read it. And if you notice, if you look at the camera, this is about the perspective that the camera saw the tag. It was right down there. Very amazing. Now, I'm on AT&T 3G network. And for some reason, my wireless uh, modem is not accepting this phone, so I'm, I'm going to, it's going to be very slow. So I'm going to ignore the fact that it's trying to go to my site. I'm not worried about that at the time, okay? I'm going to exit out of here because if I have two readers on at the same time, it's trying to share the camera, it doesn't work so well, okay? I'm going to bring up my B tag reader. B Tag Reader is one of the companies that where you can do redirects of um, QR codes, data matrix, and they also have their own proprietary code called B Tag. And so it's really interesting, you know, having that feature. Now, B Tag by default, you have to snap the picture first before you, um, you know, and snap it, tell it, you know, this is the picture you want, and then it will try to read the code then. But I changed the settings on my B Tag Reader to automatically go to the site. If you notice, I went up a little bit because I don't want to capture those other codes there. But I'm going to, if you notice, the, it's in frame right now and it still hasn't captured it just yet. Okay, almost. Oh, I was this close to the tag. Now, let's, um, I'm going to have to exit out of here real quick. Go back to my um, tag reader. 
hopefully uh, Windows 7 mobile is going to be you know much like the Android and the iPods you know it's I love Windows mobile but <laughs> it needs some work but um, Microsoft Tech was able to capture this very easily at this distance let me see can you see that yeah it was it's pretty far so the distance is a lot better with Q, with MS tag than it is with QR code okay let me go ahead and exit out of here and you go back to QR actually to go back to Microsoft tag now I'm going to try to capture that custom code here this is a, what you call a custom code as I explained before and custom code like I say you don't want to be too small but we're going to try it with this custom code here as you can tell it's the exact same in fact you can see it better here it's the exact same code because colors are aligned it's like the same so it's going to take you to the exact same website but um, I want to try it at this distance okay so oh I captured the one at the bottom accidentally I, tr I captured this one it captured it like this it was out of focus and I was able to capture it just fine okay it finally pulled it up in Skyfire okay let me go ahead and close that out by default it will go to your default browser of your phone and by default we have to go to Skyfire now we're going to try to capture this image okay let me go back ah there it goes it's about the same distance as a QR code so keep in mind that you don't want to make your Microsoft tags too small if it's custom if, you, if you're going to use small print advertising make sure that you use the uh, the standard diamond formation which reads a lot better whether it's color or black and white use the diamonds it's, it's able to read it faster but if you want to get creative you can do these uh, really creative um, tags by you know adding an image in the background when you download the um, image from Microsoft uh, tag uh, site the website you uh, get the PNG file also the WMF file Windows meta file and what's good about it is, is that the white surrounding it is R is completely white it's not transparent okay and it gives you the right dimension so you can put stuff around it but it gives you the right dimensions that it wants you to have the white around these white borders here, these white lines I guess that's what guides the reader to where these images are at, these little dots here these dots is also full color, not transparent what's transparent is behind the dots Okay, that is transparent and then what you could do is in like in Adobe Photoshop or GIMP or any other um, program that you use you can insert an image behind it and work with it. Now one thing about GIMP is that it doesn't like Windows Meta Files and so you have to open it up in Microsoft Paint or not Microsoft Paint but Microsoft Office Image something or another I can't remember the name of it. It comes with Microsoft Office and you um, save it as a PNG file and then after you save it as a PNG file it will maintain the transparency in between the dots which is very nice if you capture the whole image where it has to have phone and has to get tag or get mo um, get tag mobi you know get that at get tag mobi that will still be there as well and it will also be transparent so you can add whatever graphic around it that you want without destroying your code same thing with uh, QR code on a BTEC site it will download the PNG image is able to be stretched pretty large without losing its integrity and um, you definitely want to make sure that you don't mess with the code itself okay if you change its color the less uh, it doesn't work as good as if it's in black okay so it's got to be black and white in order for the QR code to work properly same thing with um, Microsoft Tag, you can offset it just a little bit. What Microsoft Tag, what's great about this is, and I'll do this on another test, is that the blue or the cyan, the uh, magenta, and the yellow, and of course the black, has a color temperature to it. And so this ends up being just a little bit dark, darker than this dark, of course. I mean, I mean than this. And this happens to be lighter. 
So even a black and white camera can recognize this. I'm out of time for YouTube, and um, thank you very much.